Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. I saw this interesting problem on Twitter from the award-winning maths educator Kyle D. Evans, who tweeted, This is in the top five best engineered maths questions I've ever seen. Here's the equation. We have x squared minus 7x plus 11 raised to the power of x squared minus 11x plus 30 is equal to 1. Presumably, you're solving for all real values of x to solve this equation. This is quite an interesting problem, and it even tricked me at first. Let's take a look at this equation. We have a quadratic in the base so that any value of x we have is going to change the value of the base. But we also have a quadratic in the exponent, so any value is also going to change the exponent. So we have a changing base and a changing exponent, and we want this to be equal to 1. A natural approach would be to graph this equation. According to the graphing calculator Desmos, it would seem there are three solutions to this equation. We would have x is equal to 2, x is equal to 5, and x is equal to 6. But what's remarkable about this problem is these are only three of the solutions out of a total of five. There are two additional solutions. So how can we solve this equation? We have an exponential equation where both the base and the exponent are changing, but we want the result to be equal to 1. So let's consider cases where we get a result of 1 by considering the base and exponent separately. There are three possible ways we could get a result of 1. The first is if the base is equal to 1. 1 to the power of x is always equal to 1. Then we could have a case where the exponent is equal to 0. k to the power of 0 is always equal to 1. Of course, we want k not to be equal to 0 because 0 to the power of 0 is undefined. We have a final case. Think about if we take the square of negative 1, or if we take the square of that, so negative 1 to the power of 4, we will also get a result of 1, or negative 1 to the power of 6, we will also get a result of 1. So if we take negative 1 to any even power whole number exponent, we will get a result of 1. We can write this as negative 1 to the power of 2k is equal to 1, where k is an integer. So let's solve for each of these cases separately. Start out where the base is equal to 1. So in our equation, we need the base, which is a quadratic equation, to be equal to 1. So x squared minus 7x plus 11 must be equal to 1. Subtract 1 from both sides to get x squared minus 7x plus 10 is equal to 0. This equation can easily be factored. 10 is equal to 2 times 5, and 2 plus 5 is equal to 7. So we have the product of x minus 2 and x minus 5 is equal to 0. So we have the solutions x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 5. Let's now proceed to the next case. Let's say that k to the power of 0 is equal to 1, where k is non-zero. So we are looking for the exponent to be equal to 0, which gives the equation x squared minus 11x plus 30 is equal to 0. This equation can also be factored. 30 is equal to 5 times 6, and 5 plus 6 is equal to 11. So we have x minus 5 multiplied by x minus 6 is equal to 0, and this gives the possible roots that x is equal to 5 or x is equal to 6. We need to make sure that the base is also not simultaneously equal to 0. So we will substitute x is equal to 5 and x is equal to 6 into the base. So we need to check that x squared minus 7x plus 11 is not equal to 0, and we will check that when x is equal to 5, we get a result of 1, which is non-zero, and when x is equal to 6, we get a result of 5, which is also non-zero. So x is equal to 5 or x is equal to 6 are also solutions to this equation. Let's now proceed to the third case, where we have negative 1 raised to an even power. So we need to make sure that this base is going to be equal to negative 1. So we have x squared minus 7x plus 11 is equal to minus 1. Add 1 to both sides of the equation. Then we factor this equation. 
12 is equal to 3 times 4, and 3 plus 4 is equal to 7. So we get the product of x minus 3 and x minus 4 is equal to 0, giving the roots that x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 4. We now need to check that the exponent is an even number. So we substitute these values into the exponent. So we go ahead and check that 3 squared minus 11 times 3 plus 30 is equal to 6. That's an even number. And we do the same thing with x is equal to 4. And we get the result of 2, which is also an even number. So 3 and 4 will also be solutions to this original equation. So to summarize, there are three possibilities. First, the base could be equal to 1, which gives x is equal to 2 or x is equal to 5. Then we have that the exponent is equal to 0 and the base is non-zero. This gives 5 as another root and 6. And finally, we have negative 1 raised to an even power, and this gives the roots of x is equal to 3 or x is equal to 4. So the entire solution set is 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. And that's the answer. What an amazing question. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.